All right, so we, here we are hanging out with Alvor at the blacksmith shop. Uh, we could do some stuff if we want. Let's take a look and see. Uh, can I make anything with iron? Nope. Can I make anything with leather? I can. Now, depending on what you want to do, um, you can make some items that help you to fight, and you're going to end up doing some of that later. I probably want iron items, but I don't have any iron. Go figure. All right. So iron plate gauntlets look pretty good. Yeah, I was thinking there were some brawler gauntlets that are somewhere in here. There you go, brawler gauntlets. See those little spikes on there? That'll help me to do more damage. All right. So I could buy, if I wanted to, I could buy those. Uh, buy the iron to do that. All right, let's go down to jewelry. I don't have anything I can make. We're going to get out of dodge. Let's zip out of here. By the way, I could snag his steel, but I don't feel like stealing this stuff. All right, so let's do something else real quick. Let's go back over here. Remember I said there's a little alchemy uh, table in here? Let's go there and make a few items, and we'll sell those. We'll have a little bit better money. All right. You could, if you choose, go into your ingredients. And remember, uh, I ate some of these items so I can discover one ability. So go down. I have not eaten that before. Let's see, that resist shock pops up. I haven't eaten skeever tail. By the way, it's raw. It's probably awful. Rat tail. Nice. This one should pop. Yep. That yeah means I ate something bad. <laughs> no problem. All right, now look at these are the things that I can make. Uh, I happen to know that damage ones do very little, or uh, they're very cheap. I can't make much money. So let's make this first. If I run out of materials, um, I don't want to run out of the expensive ones. And I do want to go ahead and make this because, even though I'm not going to make any money on the potion, it gives me some credit. Now, I still have plenty of stuff left. You kind of start experimenting. Ooh, I found a resist frost potion. What about this? Nope. What about that? Nope. Now, notice that some of these are going to be blackened out or grayed out, which means I've already tested them. So this is a new combination. Nope. What about this one? Ah, Ravage Stamina. Yeah, let's try Skeever Tail. Nope. 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 Oh, good. And my alchemy goes up. Click through. There's nothing left to make. Get out. Ragnar the Red. He is a mediocre bard for sure. By the way, don't just randomly attack the villagers. And I'm going to... Let's see if there's a chicken around here. There are these random chickens running around. I'll tell you what. Here you go. If you decide to smack this chicken with your sword everybody's going to hate you and the guard will come and arrest you uh, if they don't kill you first. There, see that random chicken? Don't mess with the chickens. I don't know. Somebody's got a thing for chickens, whoever this developer was. I can't remember uh, the story behind it, but they will kill you. Dude, I got your claw. Yeah, I got it. All right, so I just made friends with him. Interesting. Now, notice these are no longer, some things are going to be red. See, that's red. That says steal it. This doesn't say steal anymore. He's my friend. He's going to let me just have a little bit of money. I can take this little sword. I can take this dagger and this big glob of cheese and all of this wine if I want. Now, 
Why would you do that? Well, lucky for you, just yeah, lucky for me. I can take these arrows. Let's get, take those. Can't take that or that. But you can take things that are ultimately, um, you know, that they don't mind you having. Ooh, can I have that and that and that? I can't take that or that. Don't take it. Now, if you can hide, you can take it. See how I'm totally hiding? Right. I don't really want that. I'll take that gold. I'll take that. I don't need any of that other stuff. Right. If I really wanted that, I could take it. But you have to use it. If you don't use it, you got to find somebody to fence it. All right. That means that they'll buy stolen goods. And the game allows for that. Now, I am hiding, but this is white, so I can have it. Cool. Kind of cool. Take the garlic. Ooh. That's just laying there and white. I'll take it. Again, it's kind of like he's your friend and he, you know, he really wants to pay you back for bringing him his claw. So much care of those yep, I Every killed him. So, oh, I did. I need to do one more thing, guys. So, don't forget, if you load up Fandel, he's carrying junk for you. you want to carry? Let's take the stuff that he's not using. See, I'm gonna sell all of this stuff. It's funny that he'd rather have the sword than the I'm gonna take a sword away from him. All right, so he's gonna use that weapon and that bow, ultimately, with that shield and all that other armor. He's gonna use that, so I'm gonna let him have, can keep that. All right, now we're gonna sell all this garbage, and it's not gonna be worth a whole lot. But we're looking for. A magic item that helps us to steal life. That would be handy. Ooh, I forgot that you can get a backpack. I made one of those. So this increases my carrying capacity. Forgot about that. That was a new thing that they added with the uh, special edition or maybe it was the anniversary edition. Hunter's backpack with bedroll. Bows do more damage? You don't say. I'll take it. When you get a lot of money and you start buying these items, you can disenchant them to learn their capabilities. That's pretty good. I do not. I do want a few healing potions. All right. I don't need any of that. I don't need food. Books. What does he have? Fishing map. Don't need to fish. All right. Um. I'll show you a trick with the raised zombie spell. Uh, let's take these. I'm not going to take these. Uh, they're too expensive and I don't need to use them yet. All right? Those are full. See how it says filled with Grand Soul? Let's get the ones that are empty. One, two, three, four. Take that. Ooh, I'm going to need this Mammoth Tusk for trading. I don't have enough money figures. One, two. And now, let's see. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep that. Let's sell both of those. Sell all of those. Sell those. I want to keep that and that. I want that. I don't need the steel sword. I am using that, more or less. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm going to disenchant this one. It does 13 damage. This one does 13 damage because I want to learn that spell. Actually, I'm probably going to disenchant both of those. Um, Anyways, I don't need the shield or the tunic. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get rid of all that. Um, you can enchant that, and it's not very heavy, so you can keep that. All right. All right, disenchant those things. Keep that, keep that. I could enchant that. And then sell it. 
and sell, 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 and sell. Oh, my speech goes up because I'm interacting. Remember, you're exercising your skills. Pretty cool. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Fortify health gives you a momentary boost of health. I don't really like those. I like healing. I want Magicka. Um, do I need Magicka? I'm going to sell those. Healing. Um, you might want stamina later. I'm not using it right now. I need the money. Like a poor college kid, right? Keep that potion of strength. I don't need that. Uh, frenzy poison. Paralysis poison. Three seconds isn't very long, but it might save you. I don't know. Let me sell it. All right. That might be a useful spell to, to do summoning. Um, man, you got to have your crap together to get off a long scroll. It takes a long time to summon it, but it'll, it could really save your butt. I'm going to sell this. We'll keep that one. Don't need food. I'm essentially immortal. <laughs> I'm going to keep these ingredients. Remember, we're going to use those later. All right. I'm going to sell that. And I'm going to sell that. All right. I don't need these gems yet. I'm going to sell them. Keep that. Uh, I'm going to hold on to those. Junk. Keep that. 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 Silver skull. And... Keep that. <clears throat> Trinkets, odds and he had something that I wanted. I think it was in his miscellaneous stuff. Can't remember where it is. Mammoth Tusk. All right. So I know where I could snag one. I could just swipe one. But I'm gonna need this for. Um, I'll just. I'll just snag one somewhere else. I'll need that Mammoth Tusk later for a uh, a quest. All right, now, I got money. Let's see if old Feindel can train me. I'll show you what I One, two, three. All right, that was so much faster, wasn't it? Get my money back. I'll show you what I One, two, maxed out. Take my money back. Now watch. <clears throat> I level up. All right. Let me put that in health. I mean, uh, Magicka. And... It's time to get rocking here. I'm going to want to put a point into Conjuration. You're going to need that later. Alright. Yeah, can you train me again? He's going to run out pretty soon. And that's it. He can't train me anymore. His, I, I basically topped out his skill. He's a, I think he's like a journeyman kind of a trainer, so he can only go so far. Nothing, I just want my money back. All right. So I've done everything I can do um, at this point. Let us zip on. <clears throat> so remember, we got to go talk to the Jarl, right? The Jarl is kind of like, I don't know, a duke or a count. He's a minor, uh, I don't know, minor royalty of some sort. All right. We've already picked up these. You can't pick them up again. Oh, look, there's a guy. I can maybe try to pluck him if you want to. If you're any good shooting, I get one shot before he runs. I got him. Now, Feindel is going to chase after him, which is pretty cool. But the chance of me getting another shot off on that guy is minimal. He's pretty fast. And my aim sucks. At long range. Yep. Got to lead him. Missed. Anyways. When, when they sit still, I have a good time shooting them. Anyways. I'm not fiddling with that guy. All right. <clears throat> Remember, you go faster with your bow down. We're almost out of time. Right. I could take the road, by the way, but I'm choosing to 
go overland because the road takes me here anyways. Let's get that. I just want to get you guys to the companions. <clears throat> so I happen to know where I'm going, but if you don't know where you're going, you can always look at the map. So I was here. I'm going due north towards White Run. I was at Bleak Fall Barrows before, and I started way over here in Helgen. Right? That's where I was going to get my head cut off, uh, and so on and so forth. There's the Guardian Stones, the mine that I... I didn't really go into the mine. Uh, if I want some uh, iron, I can go do some mining there. We're going to head this way. Don't forget, you take falling damage, so be careful jumping down off of stuff. All right. I'm going to be fighting in a minute. I definitely want to get a shot off. So... There will be a giant over here, and I would like to shoot him. And this will be good. Now, the people fighting this guy are good guys. They are the companions. Don't shoot the good guys. That irritates them. The giant is pretty tough. You're going to get some training with your bow while you shoot him, but then meeting the companions is kind of the big deal. Don't get close to giants. Giants are way tough. They will knock you into the sky. When I say knock you into the sky, he's got a big club. He will absolutely hit you and levitate you into the stinking sky. All right. Let's search. Ten arrows. These guys are... Shield brother? What's a shield brother? All right, blah, 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 blah. Can I join you? All right. So I was kind of fast-forwarding there. You can just hit the X button if you don't listen, then go just drivel on. Uh, what we really want to do is pick up some more alchemy reagents. Lots of stuff on both sides of the road. So again, if you're in an RPG, a role-playing game, you could choose not to role play. You could just kind of hack and slash your way through things. It turns the RPG kind of into an action adventure game, which is cool if you want to do that. Um, I'll tell you that I am one of these guys, I am fairly immersive. I like to pick up stuff, touch stuff, and if I see a sneaking butterfly, I'll pick it up because it's also a reagent. Uh, it kind of shows you the depth of this game. The creators of this game were just really sharp. All right. So sometimes there are some Khajiit in a little caravan right over here. You know, it's always good to talk to those guys. They can train you in uh, stealth, for example. All right. Let's zoom on here. All right. And we are at White Run. This is about as far as I'm going to take you today, or at least on this uh, particular video. We're a little bit over time, but it's not a big deal. All right. I like to use my persuade. See it in parentheses. That will help my speech. And my speech goes up. Pretty cool, right? So be careful of what. Oh, I'm making a mistake. I owe I owe five dollars. <laughs> All right. So remember when I stole that uh, bar of iron? They are now going to ask me to pay for it, or I can go to jail. I'm going to pay for it. I don't want to go to jail. So again, if you got a bunch of stolen goods, you're going to want to do something else. You might run away or something. I don't know. That's why you don't want stolen goods. All right, guys. We're going to call it right here. I'll see you in a few minutes.